Restoration. Restoration is brought to you by Hisense. Everyday prices for everyday people. Yeah, it's extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use tasty tom and rich tomato mix. For naturally whiter tea, Pepsi and charcoal. The grace of God always gives us the assurance that no matter what we're going through, he is indeed able to lift us up even if we are deep down the grave. This is how I welcome you to this week's episode of Restoration. We're brought to you by Kind Ketsi, High Sense, Everyday Prizes for Everyday People, Yas Wash and Powder and Yas Sanitary Pad, Hooch Corn and Choco Flakes, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, Tuwazi Apartments located at Mile 7 near the Mile 7 Park. A big thank you to my style team, ABS Lux Line, to head duties for my hair. Today I'm doing a little bit of color <laughs> and I'm loving in it and to her mates thank you very much for styling my hair nicely and of course gh beauty artistry for my makeup yes and it is time for me to bother you now i am explaining and i am telling people that listen vintage is vintage and there is no way anything vintage can ever be non 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 palatable so i present to you my Malta Guinness. Yes, it is in a plastic bottle, but it doesn't change the taste. It doesn't change the thickness. It's still the old Malta Guinness we know. Yes, if you think I am not being honest, just grab a glass, open your new Malta Guinness in a plastic bottle and pour it. And you realize that it is actually the same. Good thing about our new Malta Guinness in this plastic clear bottle is it's super rich in vitamins B1, B2, B3, B5, and B6. And it comes with a lot of energy. So throughout the day, you will be refreshed with a lot of goodness. So grab yourself some Malta Guinness and let this be a fresh start to a day full of good. So we'll be right back after this break. <laughs> Tasty tom tomato mix. Oh, fuck a car. Now you be brave. Fuck a car, young quiny stew. The door open. Tasty tom dear. It will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty tom tomato mix in tea. Me ha writing. And si soda. The nanny den if you're sanet dear. Into customers bar never. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use tasty tom and rich tomato mix. This advert is FDA approved. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sandwich took the worry away. Easy. The new Yas extra long sanitary pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. Don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes. Feel confident. Stay fresh. Hi. Is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence. I got. Yes. We got yes protection. I got. Yes, extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. 
I love person and charcoal. Why? When there are so many other charcoal toothpaste. There's both charcoal and lemon. Oh, does it? Yes. Look right here. Yes. Pepsin and charcoal has two of nature's powerful whitening ingredients. With the power of activated charcoal and lemon essence, it removes stains and whitens teeth naturally. Convinced? Well, I am. Just look at your beautiful Pepsin and smells. <laughs> For naturally whiter teeth, Pepsin and charcoal. Pepsodent. Wait, yeah, tomato mix. Wouldn't swap one on pass. Still loud, what the tomato flavor no? No color changing like traffic lights. The beer, cocoa, come on. Tasty Tom Deer. It will surely give you value for money. This day, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. Taste not so dear. On point. Flavor new. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and rich tomato mix. This advert is FDA approved. There might be a cavity. Don't you use Pepsodent? We used to, but I'll try the new one. Ah, that's why. But doesn't every toothpaste give cavity protection? Not really. Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter repairs tiny invisible holes to give 10 times stronger teeth. Will you trust Pepsodent? Definitely. Pepsodent, 10 times stronger teeth. <laughs> use Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter. Sebano Demon Kunya, Bian to Mimi, Menono, King of Antique Furniture, Antique Chasetin Kunya, F, and you want to design Bian and Inset. Shababi Etina Didier, Dining Sets, Papa, the Umua sort of. The edit television is just for a friendly TV stands. Papa Pali Bini. Say a carpet. The edit bonyum. The edit demo is just. The edit bedrooms. The edit hall. And the hotels, restaurants. Offices, a him for, and sorry, and sorry, a sorry penny for, a human penny for, one yina, bamming chain, be penkunya, if you say a fatta one, mean kunya, and any one them say, a penny be a paddy affair, and intimate two suffer was said, Bomadia, so baba king of antique furniture, the ho, and I'll be near the affair, ah, eche, if you say a papa. Rooms be be in a wagana ha. Then we book be anywhere near me. The SA King of Antique Furniture. She shall make sure I coin. I want La Paz. A branch is for to die anymore. And now say La Paz is going to import no so. The branch is here. See a pa when you make a junction no so. To any shops row. The whole neighborhood with King of Antique Furniture showroom no. Frame here zero two four four seven one nine zero nine five. 
se wo ba na se wo hun so a wo kakra bi a wo bia fa to wo ebre esem ma ba be fa ko ebi ni ba bia ji han ko a king of antique furniture a bottom six home of quality furniture Welcome back from the break and my conversation today is going to be very, very in depth when it comes to things of the Lord. And my guest is a songwriter. He is a pastor. He is a brother. He's a friend. And I know that most of you love him to the core. Before I introduce my guest, let me do my regular thing. Yes, this is my Malta Guinness. So grab yours and let's have a conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest for today is none other but M-O-G. <laughs> Finally. Yes. yes. Cheers. You can grab your Malta Guinness. Cheers. <laughs> There's no alcohol, so you're safe. <laughs> I know. So anytime I have my Malta Guinness, then I get the energy to ask you all the difficult questions. <laughs> how are you, bro? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How is church? Amazing. We thank God. Being a worship leader, mm. how difficult is it for you? Because we know that in the church, mm -hmm. <laughs> the music department can be one of the most troublesome departments. <laughs> so being who you are now right. and leading that session of the church how difficult or easy is it um i must say um it was um a little bit complicated at the early stages but moving on we've been able to master our craft and um gather the intelligence in dealing with um, the emotions of people and people's characters <laughs> so so um we we are gradually you know getting to a space where uh, things will get on auto autopilot you know i think I took time to study to understand that people in the creative arts industry um, work with a lot of emotions, you know. So based on their temperament, you get to understand who they are, what they want, how they want things done, you know, how they want to be addressed and all those things. And then based on that, you massage their emotions to get what you want. I, I know there are times when you're a huge star mm. and you have to lead. It can be difficult because mm. like... <laughs> Were there times you ever felt like, okay, let me just leave it and just be my MOG and just do my ministry on the side? Um, not really. For me, I think um, I have the understanding that that is my source. That is where I derive um, the energy to do the things I do outside. So. If I detach myself from my place, I'm detaching myself from my source. From source. So um, that's what gives me the energy um, to do what I have to do. And secondly, um, I see myself, um, I don't see myself as a superstar in the church. I see myself as a prison worship leader. You know, so I don't bring the the, the, the MOG. MOG ish okay. thing in the church. You know, when I go to church, I'm, I'm a regular person. I, won't be, I don't want people to see me like, hey, yeah, MOG is in church. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if I have to back, I go pick the microphone and go and stand with the singers and I back with them. I don't see because I'm MOG, so let me just sit one corner or anything. If I have to lead, I do that. If there's a problem, I help solve the problem. And then when I'm done, I just sit in my car and come back home. Wow. You know? Yeah. You, you make it sound so easy. I have to make it easy for myself. <laughs> <laughs> At what point in your life did you become born again? Um, well, I was, born, I was born into a Christian home. Uh, but I gave my life to Christ uh, when I was in Addisodal College. That was around 19, no, 2001, there about. At this school? Yeah. And you gave your life to Christ? Yeah, on campus. School. Yeah. Hey, that's a tough one. <laughs> it wasn't a tough one. <laughs> no, because like anybody who knows at disco knows at disco is at disco. For what? Yeah, you, you either come <laughs> out <laughs> we, we good produce, or bad. We produce pastors. <laughs> I'm a, I'm an what, what, what happened? What gave you that turning point? That okay, Charlie, the boys are boys, mm. and but let me still let everything go and reaffirm my love for Christ. Right. So for me, um, you know, before before you go to secondary school, our time 
you know, guys who go to the secondary school come back home and tell you stories that, hey, you know, this happened on campus. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I want to see it. I want to experience it. So that was my my edge to go on campus. You know, like I knew that I just go produce very good rappers, you know. So my desire was to be a rapper. And um, <laughs> you're kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. <laughs> My desire was to be when I was growing up. My, one of my desires was to be a rapper because I love the rap music. Okay. I listened to the likes of Tupac, D, uh, DMX, Eminem, you know. Snoop um, Dogg. Snoop Dogg, you know. Um, Notorious uh, B.I.G. Yeah. Julio. Ja Rule. Ja Rule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So I wanted to be a rapper so bad. So I felt like, you know, going there will help me. Um, develop that that skill. And secondly, I didn't have that edge to be able to when I see a woman to talk to her. And I was told that they train guys over there. Yeah. So I was like, oh then I have to go there so that they can train. So it was for the rap. Yeah. And, and then uh, training for yeah, the women. That's right. <laughs> so I mean I went to level 100, I mean I got to form one and I mean the, the dream the vision was was alive. You know, I mean the rap was going on, we were writing lyrics, you know they were teaching us to how to post to girls and all that. You know, my seniors were doing that. And one of the guys I was doing that with, um, one day came to the dormitory, was like, Nana, I want to talk to you. I was like, ah, why, do you have some rap lines? He was like, oh, no, no, no. Um, I need to talk to you about something, but please don't run away. I was like, why do you, why, what are you saying? Are you, are you okay? It's like, everybody I walk to runs away, but I don't want you to run away. I said, okay, talk to me. His name is Simon Chroma. So he's like, I want to talk to you about Jesus Christ. So when he said that, I said, oh, well, because obviously I grew up from a Christian home mm -hmm. and um, he started talking to me about Christ. You know, spoke to me about the Bible and everything. And um, I was like, you know what? I, I'm from a Christian home, so what you're saying is true. Makes I think I'll, I'll take Christ serious. It's like, you, you know, you know, if you take Christ serious, you can't do the rap and, the, you know, no learning how to post to girls. You can't do that. I'm like, yeah. I like to, to me, <laughs> you know, take me, come here. <laughs> so <laughs> it was 50, 50, 50, 50. You know, someone will be trying, doing his best. And then um, um, Dr. Victor said, Bishop Victor said now, um, came on campus, he's an disco boy. He came on campus with his band. The music and the worship was so amazing. The man picked the microphone and then preached about salvation. And I was the first person to go to the front wow. to give my life to Jesus Christ. Around this time, I was doing the, the best big dancer on campus, you know, and um, my, my music career was in the rap area was picking up and all wow. that. People saw me as the next. You're able to propose to the girls. <laughs> <laughs> that one, it didn't work. That one didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know. Uh, I mean, and and um, um, people saw me as the next entertainment prophet. You know, in Addis Ababa College, but I had to go and give my life to Jesus Christ. The next day, um, entertainment committee comes to my dormitory. You know, you can still give your life to Jesus Christ and still do entertainment because that's what God has given you. Then as you will come, don't listen to them. <laughs> you know, um, just follow Christ, mm -hmm. forget all those things. So it was back and forth. Then finally, I was like, you know what? Let me just Let do me this. Just yeah. hmm? How did you feel like you had a vision? I'm going to a disco to mm -hmm. do A, B, C, D. And you get there and things kind of change for you. Mm -hmm. I think that was that was what God intended it to be because um, whatever I'm doing now, that's the genesis of what. Okay. Yeah, and it's it's it shaped my life, it shaped my ministry, it gave my life purpose. I knew what I wanted to be. I mean, at that early stage, and I started working on it from the early stage, and that's what has helped me till today. When you give your life to Christ, mm. you know, when you give your life to Christ, that is when the devil tries you. <laughs> Was it easy? I won't say it was easy. I mean, obviously, anytime you're a baby Christian, um, obviously, once the temptation is yes, once the devil sees um, um, your star or sees your future and knows that you you'll be somebody prominent in the future for God, they will always fight what God has given you. Um, I've, sh I've shared this testimony countless number of times um, at the early stages. In, um, before I went to Addis Ababa College, a young man introduced me to masturbation. Um, came to my house, said, "I you know you're a virgin. You don't want to sleep with girls, but there's something that you can do that will make you satisfy yourself." Then he demonstrated it before me, you know, and he was like, "You can try it. It feels good." So he left, and I also tried it, and it felt good. I said, "No, I, I didn't do anything with any woman." So you are still a virgin. I'm still a virgin. So. 
for time it was going on, it was going on. I went to campus. I, even after giving my life to Jesus Christ, that edge was still there. I was leading worship. It was still there. Um, I spoke to my leaders. Some of them asked me to fast for seven days. It didn't work. Um, I went for deliverance. It didn't work. Um, I, went, <laughs> <laughs> I went for counseling. It didn't, didn't work. work. And then I think one of the days I was, I was home. I was on vacation. I was home. And the thing, and when the thing comes, it comes very strong upon you. Like, if you don't do it, you're not free. You know, you like literally, you feel yourself. Urge. Yeah, you're in, you're in chains. So the urge came strongly in my room. And um, I was going to take a shower then. And um, I, I remember praying a prayer in my room. I said, Holy Spirit, if you don't help me, this thing I can't stop. You know, Bible says you're the helper and the comforter. You see me do this thing every time. And anytime I finish it, you see the way I cry and how I want to stop this thing, but I can't stop. You know that I have a future in you. If you don't help me, this thing, I can't stop. So I need your help. And I prayed a sincere prayer with tears in my eyes. And it was in a glass room with no wind. I mean, the windows were not open. I felt this strong wind enter the room and that wind passed through me. And then it pulled something out of me and the edge disappeared. I got up, went to wash my hand, took my shower, and I left the house until date. That edge is just gone. So sometimes it's just our own manifestations. That's sincere. I and it has to be sincere. Sincere. And that is what that's that thing taught me um your sincerity with God in your in your sacred place. You know, um most of the times a lot of people go to um church. Believe in God for a miracle. Yes, he can do it in church. Yes, he can do it in the multitude. Yeah. Yes, he can do it um, wherever you are. But the best place for me is in that secret place when you're alone with him, yeah. when nobody's there. Just you, the two of just you. Just the two of you. That was what I was telling you about, the personal fellowship. That's when right. you know it's just you and him, there is no one you're trying to please. That's it's just right. having that moment with him. That's right. And I believe that is the best kind of fellowship. Mm -hmm. Not where you have the pastors, the praise leaders and everybody around. It's it's a bunch of issues anymore. Everybody's trying to do something for people to see that I'm also here. Right. But when it's just the two of you, you are able to empty yourself That's right. and be yourself That's because right. you know it's just the two of you. That's that right. That is what I call true fellowship. Right. So you see, you've been there before. So it's not <laughs> like I'm, I'm doing the most. Going through that, hmm. I'm sure from that time you, you realize that you can have a personal relationship with God. That's right. How did that help you nurture your ministry? Um, it helped me in, in, in several ways because um, before you mount the stage to do whatever you have to do, there's a, there's a preparation period. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, there's one thing I've, I've grown to understand as a worship leader, worship that not, does not start when you go on stage. It actually continues on stage. Mm -hmm. So you go to continue what you started yeah. in your secret place. Mm -hmm. So that act taught me how to develop my relationship with God in my secret place. When I want to talk to God in my secret place, you know, I open up myself with all my vulnerabilities, mm -hmm. you know, literally, and then talk to him as a father. Not the one that, you know, you are, you are, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, no, no. Just sit down with him, talk to him. Yeah. If tears drop out of my eyes, they come sincerely. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like I'm massaging God because literally you can't do that. With, you no, know. you can't. Yes, you know. So that's what helped, that's what has taught me um, um, building my secret place onto the platform where I'm able to stand and minister to you. So before I pick a microphone or I stand before you to lead you in worship, I know the destination we are going. Yeah. I know where we are going. Because you're coming from somewhere. Exactly. You know, so that build up as what mm -hmm. has held me over the years. And um, everyone will say that, oh, emoji when you lead worship is so powerful. Um, when my worship is going to be powerful, I know it. When I know I'm not prepared, I know it. When I know I'm, I'm on if stage. If you're not prepared, don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you go, I mean, sometimes you go on stage and you know you're not prepared, but you're being very technical. Yeah. And to handle the situation very well for just 15 minutes or just 30 minutes, mm -hmm. let me just use professionalism to handle it. There's been times like that. I need yeah. to be sincere. But there are times where, you know, you prepare very well in the secret place. You come and then God, through his wisdom, pours out himself he through you. Up. Into, into the people. Mm. Yeah. Mainstream music. Mm. I mean, for most 
people in ministry, they would say, oh, ministry is different from showbiz. Right. But you can't run away from it. Mm. They, they marry. Because mm. you need the showbiz to take care of the ministry because nothing is for free That's right. within this industry. That's right. Starting off as a professional musician, mm. what were some of your challenges? Finance. Sikana. Sika. And the opportunity to be heard and seen. You know, um, money was a big problem. Um, you go to people for them to support you and they'll be telling stories. I mean, there was, there's this man um, that there was this church I belonged to I, I used to go to that church and there was this man that really, really... Um, and he stopped the church? Yes. You are no longer there? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> the man really, really loved my ministry, you know, I mean, literally. And he was one of the big men in the church. So, one of the days I, I went to his office, I was like, oh, sir, I'm having a program. And um, I, I'd seen people putting um, logos behind, beneath their artworks, so it means they get sponsorship. That's yeah. what I was told. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, then let me go and talk to him. I'll put this logo there, then he'll give me sponsorship. I didn't understand you that. You're not done, but it's funny. <laughs> okay. You see, that's, that's, I didn't understand the, the, the business part. part of I, I, just, mm -hmm. I just went in as a minister to ask, so say, I know you love my ministry. I'm doing a program. I need your logo to put on the artwork so that um, when I release the artwork, people will see it and do business with you. Mm -hmm. And then you can give me some money in return to yeah. do my program. He watched me. And looked in my eye and told me, Nanaya, you're not a credible brand. I cannot invest my money in you. You're joking. Yeah, get out of my office. I was like, I felt like the ground should just open. Open and swallow and, you up. Yeah, then, you know, I, I should just disappear. I said, young man, get out of my office. Should I call security for you? No way. So I got up, you know, and then picked my file, you know. And the proposal. Then I, <laughs> I left. I'm sure that was the longest walk for he you. Said, it was, I, I felt I felt so bad. I felt so embarrassed. On my way going, then the Holy Spirit told me that I'm the lift up of your head. You know, so just go. I mean, fast forward, I went to do the program. Then I got to a place where I now understood, you know, the dynamics in, you know, building a proposal. You need a team to really you sit down, structure it, you know, very well. You need to build a relationship with somebody in there mm -hmm. that can help you you know, connect and then sell whatever you want mm -hmm. to sell with the product uh, the, to the company. I mean, whatever you are promising on your on your proposal has to be delivered. delivered you know? yeah. I mean, all those things. So that side was not addressed. So now, fast forward, God does his own thing. And then like, the man sees me again, yo, emoji, I see you are, you are, you are big now. Um, my company would like to partner with you now. So let me know when you're ready. Then I gave him a manager's number to call. And one. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue our conversation with Emoji. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix. Oh, fuck a cra. Now you be brave. Fuck a cra, young quiny stew. The door are open. Tasty Tom Deer. It will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix in tea. Me ha writing and si sada. Me na ne de ne de sa ne de. Into customers ba never. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. This advert is FDA approved. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sunny chip took the worry away. Easy. Yas comfort, I got yas confidence, I 
Extra Long Sanitary Pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. We don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Feel confident, stay fresh. Hi. Is it supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence, I got. Yes. We got yes, protection. I got. Yes, Extra Long Sanitary Pad. For extra comfort. We got your yes, protection. <gasps> I love person and charcoal. Why? When there are so many other charcoal toothpaste. That's both charcoal and lemon. Oh, does it? Yes. Look right here. Yes. Pepsin and charcoal has two of nature's powerful whitening ingredients. With the power of activated charcoal and lemon essence, it removes stains and whitens teeth naturally. Convinced? Well, I am. Just look at your beautiful Pepsin and smells. <laughs> For naturally whiter teeth, Pepsin and charcoal. be a cavity. Don't you use Pepsodent? We used to, but I'll try the new one. Ah, that's why. But doesn't every toothpaste give cavity protection? Not really. Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter repairs tiny invisible holes to give 10 times stronger teeth. Will you trust Pepsodent? Definitely. Pepsodent, 10 times stronger teeth. <laughs> use Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter. Sebano demu kumia bien to mimi menono king of antique furniture antique chasete tin kumia f and you want to design no bien and inset shababi etina di die dining sets papa pa you more sort of The edit television is just so friend the TV stands. Papa Pani Bini. Say a carpet. The edit bonyum. The edit demon should share. The edit share bedrooms. The edit share hall. And your hotels, restaurants. Offices, a him for, and sorry, and sorry, a sorry penny for, a human penny for, one you know, bam in chain be penkunya. If you say a fata won, mean kunya, and any one them say, open ebia, paddy a fe, and intimate tunes of fre was a bombardier, so baba king of antique furniture, a ho, and I'll be near the air fe, a eche, if you say a papa. Rooms be be na waga na ha. Then so you be anywhere near me. The S King of Antique Furniture. She shall make sure I come. I want La Paz. A brand new sport to dine in Moa. And now say La Paz is quite important. So your branch is here. Pa, when you make a junction, no so ah. To when you just throw. The whole neighborhood King of Antique Furniture showroom. No, from here zero two four four seven one nine zero nine five. 
se wo ba na se wo hun so a wo kakra bi a wo bi a fato wo ebresem baba be fa ako ebi ni ba bi a ji han ko a king of antique furniture a bottom six home of quality furniture super crazy giveaway we are still at abs last line yes the, the couple of weeks back we started our giveaways at abs last line and we're still here and now i have my beautiful lady with me what do we are frozen Okay, okay, okay. That's quite recent. Yeah. Welcome back. That is our winner for this week's High Sense Super Crazy Giveaway moment. Very soon, MOG will get to pick a card and we'll see what High Sense will give him to take home today. Uh, but I'm still on my Malta Guinness. In some night, Moji can be more. Who must sponsor? I must have more sponsor. I'll send out the more times 50. No, Moji. But I want you to remember Malta Guinness is still the same old Malta Guinness. Just that now we're coming to you in a clear plastic bottle. And this bottle can be recycled. So it means that we're joining the agenda to make sure Ghana is clean. So wherever you are, make sure that you are joining this agenda to keep Ghana clean. Because if Ghana is clean, we will all be safe from all diseases and sicknesses. So please go out there and join this agenda. Make sure you're getting your Malta Guinness in the plastic clear bottle. So I'm back with MOG. So the man finally gave you the money. <laughs> was it good money? Oh, yeah. It was very good that, money. That was good. It's now it taught you something right. that you don't get anything on a silver platter. That's right. No matter how anointed you are, if you do not have that knowledge mm. to kind of convert it into money, right. you go tired. That's right. You will worship and uh, they'll bring 10 CDs, 20 CDs. When you are up that altar, they'll bring it. But uh, the pastor will still take it. So it's not your money because <laughs> <laughs> it's not your altar. And you and I know. <laughs> so now that you've been able to build yourself, mm -hmm. become a brand, a brand that has been identified even by the Grammys. I mean, when I saw that, I was like, this is huge. Yeah. Because we've seen circular acts even trying to get there. Mm -hmm. And at least you had your work there being recognized for a potential nomination. Right. How did that make you feel? Yes. My source of vitamins throughout the day. It has been amazing coming your way. Always do remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We'll see you next week.